Today I'm going to show you how to um, compose using uh, the new score. So you have to download first the the new score to online, and then after you download, you will get uh, like this and. It's an example of uh, my compose from hymnal song. So we're gonna make a new one. So to make a new one, you just click this, click this uh, new score, and there you will type the title of the song that you're going to to, uh, to create. So let's just type title this world is not my so most of the song that I'm going I'm going to compose or I'm composing is uh, hymnals or Christian song um, I'm doing instrumentals so you can also uh, type the composer or the one who made this uh, or the one who made the arrangement so I can type in like here are dot um, Albert E. So after you type in, so so usually you're going to go to write the the name of the composer here or the one who made it. So since uh, uh, the song that I'm going to compose is or to create is uh, arranged by Albert E. Wormley so I just uh, I put down his name and also if there's also copyrighted you can also you have also to uh, include it so you can just uh, you can just write here the subtitle If there's a subtitle, and then um, you can uh, put the copyright down here. So like, so copyrighted. Uh, sorry. Copyrighted by Albert. So you can just type in. So there you go, and then you can click continue. And then here you can choose um, the instruments, uh, instrument as you want. So if you want treble clef only or bass, grand step. I'm going to use a chamber music. So, so I think I need to. I want to use the uh, wind quartet. So it, this, this what looks like when you use a uh, wind quartet uh, so there is a treble clap for for its instruments so you can use also other like uh, jazz or popular or bonnet percussion or orchestra so it's quite a little bit uh, different so just click continue and then you choose the the key signature is available here uh, it's also in the in the left side of of the screen. 
So this this song that I'm going to compose is in G major. So I'm going to continue and then check the time signature which is 4-4. Four, four. So the song that I'm going to compose is 4-4. Four, four. So you can also set up the tempo here if you would like to set up. And then click done. And then there you go. So here is my uh, here is now the uh, page view there is also continuous view here so you can create your song alright so I, I use the uh, con uh, I use the continue continuous so I'm gonna start now well, for me, I all I usually uh, made the introduction first. So usually, um, I use the end of the end part of the song. So okay. So this is my uh, introduction. So I'm gonna start. So you can you can use also the uh, your keyboard, or you can use your uh, touchpad or mouse. Just just click this N or con for the shortcut you can click the N, and you will have the no the notes will come out here, and you're gonna choose which note you need. So for this time I need the uh, eighth note for the beginning. So. So, since I choose the, uh, I choose the um, chamber music, so it's like uh, I'm going to create uh, notations for its uh, instruments for flute, oboe, B flat, clarinet, and bassoon, and then. But if you choose uh, grand staff. You will have only a piano, so uh, the upper and the lower, the treble clef and the bass clef. But since so, I'm gonna put like this. So, oops. So you can undo if you don't if you miss mistake. Okay. So if you don't need the uh, the notes, you can just click N in the keyboard, and then just select and command backspace to delete because I need only one note at the beginning. All right, so oh sorry, uh, I need two notes. At the beginning, so so I need more, another. So I click and so I need to click this one and okay and. This one, so it's that's the same. So click N if you don't need the notes. Command backspace to to delete. Okay, so I'm gonna check if it is correct, 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 and correct. So I'm gonna go to the next measure. So I'm going to click again the N for the notes. So I need quarter notes. For the next one, so I have to do from G. I need to the B and G and ah uh, sorry, this is not G. 
okay I need the uh, 16th note you can also use your keyword um, from choosing of the uh, the different notes you can click five number four five for quarter and number four for eight and number three for sixteenth note so you can click this uh, huh? so the same note I need and the second one and the same and this one okay so just remember that I'm I'm doing the, the introduction of the song okay so um, I need the uh, eight notes I'm going to click number four so I'm going I have my eight notes so there's also dotted notes so you can click dots here if you if you need some dotted notes okay so you can uh, Use the dotted note if you need a dotted note, some dotted notes. Any dotted note you can use. Okay. Then this one is uh, and the headline. Okay. Okay. Next time I'm going to uh, share how you're gonna read some notes in the staff so it's, it's quite easy to to uh, read notes um, so since um, I'm using this since I'm using this uh, this apps muse core apps I simply just look at the the line from the uh, from the staff so I just put the notes on the the right place or sit the note on the right place on the right line or space so but next I'm going to show you or to teach you how to read notes so that you have an idea how to read notes because if you have an idea to uh, in reading notes it's very simple to um, place the notes since you know how to read the notes so I need here and here and here next is here okay then once this done you can also play and listen to it so that you know you know of course you must uh, be you, you also have to be familiar with the song that you're you are composing so that you know if uh, if your compose or composition is correct okay so later I'm gonna play so we have uh, let's complete first so I'm now at the final, I mean, the final measure for for the introduction. So I need this one. So I need for D, G, and then I need this uh, D, and I need the in the D okay and then I need the sixteenth note sixteenth note to uh, A sixteenth note to F and sixteenth note to uh, C and sixteenth note to A to T and then uh, I need eight notes, sorry, eight note dotted. Dotted eight notes, I need to do A, I need to F, I need to be in C. Oops. 
this is wrong so you need to put the you need to put uh, on the proper place and then the same here and then the final one I need the quarter note the quarter note or uh, dotted quarter note place it G to G place to D and place to and place here okay so click in and move this if you don't need this one anymore okay so let's try it so I'm gonna play it so you can try if your if the sound is right just for a moment the sound is not uh, the sound is not coming So let's see, let me play. So you just click from the first note and then it will play for you. Sound good, okay, it sound good. So it means I created the correct one. Okay, so you can click this uh, for me, I'm clicking the first uh, note and then Command T. Well, I'm using a Mac Mac Air, so it might be uh, different from your uh, computer that you're using. So I, for the shortcut, I just click Command and Command T for this uh, title. So I'm just uh, writing intro. So that's for my beginning for the song I'm creating. This world is not my home. So let me let me hear again. Ah, sound good. Okay, so now I'm gonna start now with uh, the first or uh, the, the very beginning. The very beginning of this song. Okay, so I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with Oops Sorry, we need to click in Okay, I need the uh, eight notes, so I need G, I need the B, and uh, uh, the D, or oh, I mean, the I'm recording my uh, composition here. Wait for a while. So I have just noticed that uh, because the safety setup is off. So now is open. Yes. Okay. So this one, I, I have noticed that there are three treble claps here. So, so I might use the treble, uh, so it, it, it might sound different from this one. I'm recording my... So this is how you're gonna use this. Uh, sorry, I just observed that this one is, uh, 
a treble clap as well I just noticed just now let me just check the uh, other uh, the same as well well let me just go to the other song like um, I know whom I have believe it oh yeah this song this this song is uh, played by uh, violin okay so this one has the bass clap bass clap and two treble clap on the top okay so I have not this one so let's go back here let me just uh, play again okay so what I did is um, this note that I have put to the B flat clarinet is actually from the uh, from the tenor tenor notes so well it's actually work so I okay so just carry on let's continue okay so where are we now we are now the first note yeah so let's go back to the oops there might be um, okay hey, record ko yung ano ko yung gawa ko Parang ginakausap ko yung... Parang ano, nagtutukar. Yes. Okay, let's go back. Okay. Um, so, let's click in. So, 8 note. Okay. So, 8 note. Okay, so since we don't need this one, so you just command backspace, command backspace, command backspace. Yeah, okay, on the next measure, when I'm on the next measure. So click in, and then uh, click four for eight notes, and then we have this. So you can also put the notes, uh, all the first, uh, notation okay wait yeah first notation so let's see it's easy for you to uh, put everything at the end okay I have here four here just like the beginning and we have this as well here And then here, so far, um, the notes is like a clickable, so it's like, uh, and then uh, so four, and then let's have the chord notes. So we have the G and and the uh, T. And here we have the sorry there's correction here so this one must be down here so you can also correct the notes if if you use a uh, wrong one so you can put it down okay so like that and then this one uh, if you need the the same special symbol, so you can also put the notes and click the the special symbol. 
Oops, sorry. Do you have to move me again? First click the... Yeah, I don't need to play it. <laughs> Meron yung purpose. Okay, so... Yeah. So you have to click the special symbol here. You know, the special symbol, like the natural symbol. This is the natural symbol. And then the next one is... Here. And here. And then you need here and here. Okay. So after that, let's go back to the service didn't mean that. Every day in the service. And then so click four We are gonna make fun of the fun of And then here. Well, we can also we can actually set um, all the first notation so that it's not difficult for us to to see. One, two. Okay, we need to two here and there's the next one here. So A G and G and E E and then next is E E oops and do and then and then C and that's it and then we go to like this and then and then we have Two for five, two for five. This one is not uh, enough, so there's one, one, two, three, four. Okay. So next is, okay, I need a uh, dotted quarter note. So I'm going to place it here. Oops. Something wrong. Okay. So sometimes there is a, um, what we call this, uh, uh, grace notes. So we can use a grace notes in here for, for this time. So let's undo it. So we can use a grace note. Uh, so we can... Okay, click and let's erase this 
and then you can click this one uh, and there will be a grace note we need a grace note so a grace note is so this one oops this is the grace note so so we just put the grace note here and then once we add the next note which is the which is the dotted quarter note so it, it will come it will come out on the on the side on the side of this uh, eighth note so we have the grace note already okay so just so what I click here is I go I go to the I want to grace notes and then since I need the uh, grace note the eighth note grace eighth note so I just click this one I click this one and then click the grace note there, so there you go all right so so that's it so we need that at, uh, we need the dotted uh, what do you call this? quarter note okay there you go and then click 4 for 8 notes there you go because if you are not using the grace note uh, the measure of the notes or the note that you're supposed to uh, enter in its measure will not be fitted so that's why we need the grace note then it's like a special special one you see so if you're going to play that one so it sounds like this look how it's the grace note sound so so let's try to play So it sounds like that. Okay. And then uh, all right, so after that Let me just play from the top. So, I think this one is better for, it's better for the, the violin. Okay. So I'm going to now if if you think the instrument is not suited for this composition then you can change it okay let's let's make another one and you can actually like copy and paste these notes to the next uh, to the ne to the new one to the new uh, template so we can click another one and then there is the uh, automatic uh, composer and copyrighted. Just the title you can type in again. So this world is not my home. And then there is a subtitle. I'm just a passing through.
I'm just a passing through. Okay, so just, you can just click continue. So just do the uh, the same way. So since um, we're going to change the uh, instrument, so I think I feel like uh, we need to change into string quartet. So so we have the string quartet, and then you can click continue, and then uh, G major, and four four, and then mm. all all set up, and done. So this one is in uh, now. I feel like to transfer my composition in this. Uh, string quartet so I have these different instruments now so it's it's possible so just what you only have to do is okay let us uh, click this out or so to save your work may I make sure you are saving your work you click this one then it will save for you as well as at my home okay and then save it and this one also you save it but since they have the same name so I'm just writing to them this is for the violin now it's possible to to copy it actually and paste into the string so you can click uh, I usually click the first one first the first stop I mean. so let's try if we can copy all until the end so command copy and go to this uh, and then click click the first measure and paste it so it didn't it didn't uh, work properly so what 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 I usually did is I just copy first the first measure so let's undo it so copy the first measure first first measure let's try if we can copy all the first measure like this and copy and then place here mm. I think it's it, it worked but it's quite different from here so it's not the same you see so it's not same so what we're gonna do is We'll try to uh, paste it. Uh, it's it's tough. So hold, click it, and hold shift, and click at the end, and then. Place it on the first one. So we can erase this so that it will be fitted there. There you go. So it's uh, it's correct one. So the same as the second one. So we can go to the second one. So just click it and hold shift and click until the end to the end and copy and then click here and paste I think this is not correct it's not the same as the uh, previous one oh I think it's correct so it's the same as the previous one, okay.
and then this one we're going to copy uh, select and shift or shift and copy and paste here as you see so as you can see the uh, the notes has changed so I think what we're gonna do is uh, undo so what we're gonna do is the safe the safest thing is we just copy the first one first and then go here and paste Okay, let's take away or maybe erase this one. Oops, something wrong. Or I think we need to adjust this one. So this one is in the this actually in the in the uh, G, G of, uh, so we can just simply put this one in here so that there's even really problem. So this one, this one is actually good. Ah uh, no, so this one is, mm, okay, so this one is here, this one is here. And this one is here. Okay, so let's go now. So since they are different now, so just hold the ship and cut it at the end and paste it. It's really rising up. What's wrong? Okay, so if it happened like this, I can just Oh, sorry. Oops. So just select and just adjust this one in the proper one. Yeah, and that's all of them will go down on its uh, proper proper position. Okay, I think all is good. Then let's go back here on the last stuff. Click the first one and then hold shift and select the last one and copy. And then go back to this and then uh, paste it. There you go. So I think I think it's uh, all is in the right place, fall in the right place. So let me try to play if it sounds if the sound is good. Perfect. Yes, it's perfect. It's perfect. Okay. So there are many things that I'm going to teach you about this, like fixing. So if you feel that uh, the sound or the instruments that you use, it's not uh, fitted to the song that you're composing, so. It, it uh, it doesn't matter you can you can just uh, choose another one and select and then uh, copy and paste of your uh, your your work and simply it can be uh, it it's it's transferable okay so you don't need to be worried now I'm 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 doing now so since I I'm happy with uh, with the string quartet so I'm going to continue with the string quartet so I'm going to take away now this uh, wind uh, quartet so I'm just take it away and I'm not concentrating in the string quartet because the sound is really good for the string quartet now I'm going to continue 
so uh, I put continue view. Oh, um, you can also put the. Uh, you can also put. You can also put. Where is the can put also this one? Okay, there is a changes here. So if there is something wrong, you can click here uh, because this node is not in the proper place. So I had to the first node of the this node it it has not to be in this group. Okay, so what I'm going to do. I, I can click this one, so you click Add and then go to the measures and insert one measure. So this one supposed to be here, so I'm going to move, move it. So how am I going to move it? Suggest um, just make one. I think so click in make one here just copy like this one uh, because it's not supposed to be here so what I'm going to do is so click in so I'm going to erase this now so backspace only backspace and backspace So you can actually erase this one. So that's it. So backspace, command backspace, and command backspace. Now, so what I'm going to do, so is it. So this one now is actually the verse, verse one. So I can command T for the text, so I can put V1. So that I know where is the intro and the first one so let me see okay so it sound good sound really good so I'm going to continue now okay all right so So just always save your work, and then if if you finish your work after you finish your work, um, you have to uh, you can also download this online uh, to the website direct to the website by clicking this uh, cloud thing, and it will be saved to you. So. Is it that's it for now so next time I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you more thank you for watching <laughs>